right here into this game one. A bit late now on the commentary, but we have Ingrid Fanboy, nice DI by the way, on Bowser versus Shadowmaster from Fox Senior High School on Kazuya. Right now, Shadowmaster has is off to a pretty strong start versus Ingrid Fanboy, but this of course is nothing Ingrid can come back from. He's a very strong player. Going for the down smash, not quite getting it though. Up smash, not gonna land, but gets the grab instead. Nice, down throw, let's ending off stage. Ooh, flame breath, gonna give Kazuya a rage drive though. Forward smash, gonna miss. I'm gonna avoid the rage drive. Only the side B. Ooh, this is so tense. So we get the stock. And it is going to be Ingrid Fanboy with that stock. Very nice side B. Shadow Master getting the down B into the up air, but still not gonna kill Bowser being the heaviest character in the game. What's gonna be the option to get off ledge here? Jump, makes it right back to center stage. I'm gonna shield the back air. But the uppy is gonna seal the deal that time. That uppy from Kazuya being a very strong move. The flame breath not quite gonna connect, but the side B also misses. Ingrid coming in with a grab. Very nice. Sending Kazuya off stage now. It's gonna be the ledge trap option here. Side B misses. Gonna get the down beat. An electric wind god fist. Almost breaking the shield there. Not quite though. Ingrid's gotta watch out for that now. Kazuya is such a strong fighter. Ooh, gonna read the air dodge. Not gonna get a kill off of it yet. Going for the forward smash. Does not land. It's the down B. Good DI from Ingrid Fanboy. Nice spot dodge. Avoiding the forward smash. Now Ingrid's got Sh Shadow Master in the last trap situation. Not quite gonna kill yet though. Ozzy is also a pretty heavy character. Who is gonna get this next stock? It's gonna be a big will matter a lot for whoever's team. It. The back air not gonna kill yet. Not gonna kill yet. Oh, but the down smash at ledge is gonna seal the deal on that one. The down smash being a very strong move.
Alright, and now getting right into the second game. We have Lucas Omega from Helias on the Incineroar versus Shadowmaster on Kazuya from Fox Senior High School. Shadowmaster is going to have to SD once to begin this match since he lost his stock last time. Oh, looks like he forgot for a second that he got there. And now we'll be getting right into this one. Halo invincibility running out. Very careful neutral here. Neither player is taking very much damage so far. Luke is going to get the side beat. Both players at 45% now. Both these, both these characters can kill you very early. Though Kazu has more combos to do so than the Incineroar does. Ooh, the Dragon Uppercut going to hit. Not going to take it out. Good DI on that. How's he going to make it back? Ooh, that down smash is going to go right into the ground. Getting this spike on the first stock. I'm reading the counter on the Kazuya. Looks like Mega getting the back air though. He's now he's got a ledge trap situation for Skies. He gets the side beat. Is that going to kill? Not quite. One more of those will do it though. And gets the down beat. And that is going to kill even with the sour spot. Very nice. Gotta watch out though now. Being 100% versus Kazi is very scary and almost anything is gonna start killing you here. Ooh, it's a forward air. Kazi makes it right back to center stage. A little from Shadow Master. So Kazi Mega gonna take this stock down. It's the forward air to dash attack conversion. Taking on a nice bread and butter damage. Avoids the side beat, gets another dash attack. It's gonna be the option here. It's gonna be the ledge trap. He rolls in, gets the grab though, sends him right back off stage. Now this is getting scary for Kazuya. It gets the side B! Wow! Very nice from Lucas Omega. That was very good. Getting, getting into this next game here, we have Stinkmeister from Fox Senior High School on King K. Rule versus Lucas Omega with a very nice last game, once again on Incineroar. And we're going to be on the wrong stage. Yeah, we're going to be on the wrong stage for this one, it being Town and City for some reason. Uh, yeah, we're on the wrong stage. Supposed to be Town and City. We'll see. Did they, did they click the wrong one? Or what's going on here? Like we we're still supposed to be on town and city. I guess they just forgot to change the stage. But going in, King Carol versus Incineroar. Lucas Omega versus Stinkmeister. Lucas Omega is going to have to SD once at the start of this match. He lost one stock last match, but had a very, very, very good game otherwise. Now 
Now, King K. Rool versus Incineroar, this is a heavy hitting match if I've ever seen one. Both these characters have so much kill power, though they are a bit slow. But this should nonetheless be a fun one to watch. Dash attack going to come in from Stinkmeister. But Lucas Omega right, makes it right back to center stage. Very nice. Good jab. The cannon going to send him off stage once again. Looking for the back air. Does not get it. Lucas getting the back throw. Sending King K. Rool off stage. It's going to be the ledge trap here. Misses the side B. No punish though. Both down smashes missing. The back throw going to send him right back off stage again though. It's going to be it this time. Looking for down tilt. Doesn't get it. Side B is going to connect this time though. Cannon not going to connect. Opting for neutral B. Very nicely done. Ooh, and countering the cannonball. I like that. Getting the up tilt to get some nice extra damage on. Is the side B not quite going to do it? King Kurul being one of the heaviest characters in the game. The crown going to catch the high recovery. And the cannon going to take that first stock for Stinkmeister. So Mega taking the stock right back though with the neutral B. This is a very even game. Percent wise, anyways. Getting the back throw, dealing 44%. Watch that shield that's a bit low now. Going for full send down air. Okay, be careful now. King K. Roll can do just the same thing off stage. I'm going to be keeping King K. Roll and disadvantage pretty well here. Just as I say that. Oh, no. Stinkmeister not going to make it back to center stage. Looks like doing a very good job maintaining this advantage. Stinkmeister has reset it to neutral now, though. Going to get another side B. Not going to kill. Across the stage, but one more of those. Definitely a ledge is going to kill even a character as heavy as King K. Rule. The King K. Rule is a very scary character. There are a lot of things that could kill Incineroar here from him, too. But getting all the counters. I have a lot of revenge power. We're going to get the dash attack to steal that stock. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. And racking up yet again another stock. Now, this is getting kind of scary for Stinkmeister. Taking more damage 50%. If he's not careful, Lucas could steal out another game for his team. We're gonna get the side B for 80%. One more of those might do it. But that neutral B is gonna get it. No tech coming out.
All right, next up, we have K. Cool from Helias on Corrin this time. Not a character he's didn't use before, but we'll see how it does. Versus Stinkmeister on K. Rule. We're about to see how this Corrin plays. Stinkmeister gonna have to SD twice. Lucas Mega having taken two of his stocks last game. Very good for the team. Is K. Cool gonna be able to close this game out? Here we go. So I'd be going to come through. Looks like we're getting a little bit of lag. Hopefully that clears up soon. Jab, the neutral B. Not quite going to connect. Okay, cool. But still very even game here. Pickle getting the side B to tack on some nice damage. It, right into the dash attack. Reading the air dodge, getting another dash attack. In the up air. K. Rule's got a low shield now. He's got to watch that. Stinkmeister, what's he going to do to this? Stinkmeister playing it very calmly. Just going for side B. Zoning him out. But this isn't a problem for K. Cool. He's getting right in with the up air. Now Stinkmeister at 100%. He's got to watch out for this. Stock is definitely in danger against Corrin. This character can kill. The up tilt. We're gonna get there with the down air. We're gonna seal the deal with the forward smash. Very, very nicely done from K. Cool. Huge for the team. All right, now we're going into the next game. We have K. Cool versus Azzy Boy, Diddy Kong versus Corrin. Neither character is going to have to SD. We're just getting right into the action this time. Dead even game right now. Who's going to take this one? Azzy Boy starting it off strong with a combo. 66% already. 85. 93. Ooh. The four slash is going to steal this first stock with a zero to death. Dang. Wait, Caleb's going to have to respond to this. Okay, cool. It's going to get him. Oh my. Stiddy Kong player. Down B to back air. Already tacked on 55 damage once again. But Caleb, not done. Putting on 40% of his own. a banana for ledge traps. Doesn't get it through yet. Force smash not qu quite going to connect. Sending K Cool off stage with the back air. But K Cool making it right back to center stage. Have a little more lag. But K Cool's got to find a way to get the stock. As boy playing this very carefully against Horan. Playing very well around the range. I'm gonna seal the second stock out with the banana to F smash. This is Fox Senior High School's best player to my knowledge. And down throw 
down air, up tilt. These combos are crazy. Attacking on 60% already again. Keiko is going to take the stock. Another, another forward smash off the banana throw. And then another forward smash. The second hit hitting. Not quite going to kill though. And that. Oh, not going to be it. He whips the kill. Is Keiko going to be able to get the stock? Saibi going to come through for Azzy Boy. You got to be scared here. Corn can just kill you. But Azzy Boy is going to steal that game out with a three stock. All right, we are switching to Orb of Light. Let's see how he fares. All right. Azzy Boy against Orb of Light. So here we are on Battlefield. Light gets the first hit in. Honestly, Diddy Kong, very scary fighter. A lot to worry about. One thing you always gotta be watching out for is with the banana. Banana warfare is real. Ooh, when he gets out of the shield with the recovery. Ooh, they both got launched off. Who will be the first to lose a stock? Facing a lot going ooh. orb of light nearly loses the stock but makes it back. Ooh, ooh, that was very close. Azzy boy nearly lost his stock. 
And Orb of Light was the first to lose a stock. Very close indeed. Very close. That banana is definitely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Ooh, and Orb gets another, gets a stock off of Azzy Boy. Very interesting game indeed. Very good option out of shield whenever someone's attacking you. Cloud's recovery is very good at fighting everything. Ooh! Azzy Boy nearly loses a stock. And Azzy Boy takes the next stock. Gotta be really careful when the banana comes in. You never know what could happen next. Might I say, the music playing right now, I love supersonic racing. Ooh. He missed the trip. Oh, very. This is very scary. Both sides fighting very well. Ooh. Oh, Orb survives. Oh, wow. Orb loses the last stock. Choose your fighter! Joker!
this game we have Sans on Joker from Helias versus Azzy Boy on the Diddy Kong. Two stocks and we're going to get this game started right on FD. And he's going to have to play this nice and slow against Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong, if he gets in, he can do some serious damage as we saw that last game. Far we have a very slow, even neutral. Very well from both players. The side B is going to stop Joker's side B, actually. Scary interaction. Down B to back air. Very strong bread and butter combo. The Saint's going to make it right back to center stage. We get the down smash to up, down air to up smash. Making it a very even game. And he has Arson. Not quite going to get the forward smash. And then Azzy Boy is going to get a forward smash of his own on Sans. But this is a very even game. How's Sans going to make it back to the center? And he just runs right back in and he makes it. The up B not going to kill him. But this is a very scary percent against Diddy Kong. The banana not going to get the gamp. But the forward tilt, is that going to do it? Not going to do it, but he's going to run off and get the edge guard. Very nicely played from Azzy Boy. As he was talking, tacking on 40% really quickly once again. But Saints has Arsen now. This Arsen, he's going to take the stock. Saibi going to come in, hitting him off stage. As he was not caring about this Arsen. Just keeps dashing back, running in, getting more damage to get rid of the Arsen. When you deal damage to Joker, it takes away his Arsen meter. Going to stop the forward smash, but not quite going to get a forward smash of his own. But avoiding being killed, very good nonetheless. Are you going to escape this ledge trap? The down tilt going to do it, and the up air, very nicely done. Going to take that first stock off of Azzy Boy. And I got to close one more out here to get past Azzy Boy. Attack on some pretty good damage. 30%, but the up down tilt up smash is going to take that first stock. I see he's going to take this. 40%, playing nice and carefully. Oh, but running in with the dash attack. Now, Azzy Boy is going to get an almost 60% combo. The Sans landing with an air. Ooh, this is intense. Everyone's going to make it back to stage surprisingly safe. Now Sans has got to make it out of disadvantage again. Azzy Boy's advantage state can be pr is pretty dang good. So is Sans. Sans makes it out. Gets an up air. So you can close this one out. Getting the down throw. Looking for a forward, forward air. Not quite getting it. Down tilt again to up air again. Very even game. Both players at near 100%. Both players definitely at kill percent. If the right move hits. The banana going to hit, but not going to get the trip because he's in the air. This is so intense. Both players just looking for one opening to kill off of. So he's going to the down tilt. One hit will end it here for either player. Not going to get the banana punish. Looking for the looking for the up B. Doesn't get the kill though. Getting the back air. Or sorry, the back throw. Going off stage, not getting it. As we were saying, the center. The forward tilt going to come through. Looking for the Z drop banana. Nothing off of it though. Not quite going to get the back air. This is very close. Going to trip on the banana, but he's not going to be there to punish. Forward air coming through. Both players at ludicrously high percent here. Any hit's going to do it, especially for Arson. Side B. Both players max rage 150%. This is so scary. And the up B is going to take that stock. Stealing the crew battle out for Azzy Boy. Very well played from both players.
now getting into set two, game one, we have Sans on the Joker versus Fail Knight from Fox Senior on Sora. We're, in, we're going to Town and City for this first game. Who's going to take it? Game progressing fairly evenly at the start. Both players at around 20% now. They're not getting the dash tech though. Stan's going for a down tilt, not quite hitting it. Going for a forward smash read. I don't know if that would have. No way that would have killed, but I guess damage. Doesn't get it though. The Sora comes. Oh, the back air from Sora going to catch the jump off stage from Sans' Joker. Sora is very good at edge guarding with that back air. He's very scary. Sans coming through now. In the down tilt to up air. Sora is a light character. He can just die here. But he managed to make it back to stage. Sans going to hit him off again, though. He escapes. Not going to get hit by the dash deck. Sans avoiding the epi. Not that time, though. Neutral B coming through. Dash pack going to hit Sans off stage. You know he's got to make it back to center stage. The ledge trap, neutral B to grab. That is that is advanced stuff right there. Neutral B combos. You don't see neutral B combos very often from Sora's. Like this guy knows what he's doing is what I'm saying. Like, no, like like actually, this guy has studied the art of Sora. We have down throw. He's going for the offstage kill, and he's gonna get it, and that is gonna seal out the first game of this set. And right into this next game, we have o Lucas Omega going in on the Incineroar versus Failmite Sora. Failmite three stalking Sands last game, so there's going to be no SDing to start this matchup. We're just going to be getting right into the action once again. Lucas Omega starting off with a side B. He's got Sora disadvantage. He's going to make it right out of disadvantage with the side B. The weak hit of forward air. 
a very even game so far. I think I might want to get a little bit of damage on the dash attack. Looking for this. Ooh, that was scary. Looking for the forward smash read. Doesn't get it. Lucas might get it saying, I don't care. I'm not afraid of you. I'm going to just side B you. And he gets the extra damage on that. That up smash is going to connect. Not killing. Sword smash attacks are surprisingly strong, though. I'm going to get the up B to send Final Might away. Neutral B sends him off stage. Pale Might doing a good job avoiding the neutral B. Ooh, and the counter gonna stop that up B recovery onto stage. Very creative. But the down smash gonna strike right back. Dead even game. Very nice from Lucas Omega. Up B for a little bit of extra damage. Am I gonna get a little more damage? Getting the grab. It's in disadvantage now. How is he gonna make it back out of this? Looks really hard to get out of disadvantages in Cinderor. The thing about this matchup, Sora is really light, so if you can tack up some damage on him like Lucas is doing right now, you can kind of just kill him. And the side be going to land, getting Famite back onto stage safely. Writing to, you're setting to neutral. This neutral looks pretty hard for Cinderor too. But that's the thing. Cinderor only needs to get in once, and that can be it for you. Such a strong character. Through the grab, not quite getting it, but the neutral be going to connect, dealing almost 40 damage. Gonna miss the forward tilt. Kalemite's got to find this kill soon if he doesn't want to lose his own stock. This is really scary. Good waiting out the counter. How's Lucas Omega going to take the stock? Going for the, going for the neutral B. Not going to get it though, and the counter is going to steal that stock too. It appears Phalanx has adapted to that recovery pretty well after just one time. Luke's Omega getting the side B. The one that sealed the second stock out very nice. Getting the counters, dealing huge damage. Going to take almost 70% off of one side B. The down smash not quite going to connect, but if you're fail might now, you got to be scared. Is Sora a light character? And Sinor can really just take you out. But fail might getting some nice damage of his own. Both character, both players are in huge damage, huge danger right here. But Lucas gonna get into neutral B, 85 to 100 percent. The grab whiffing unfortunately, but and the up B gonna come through. Still alive though. Anything could kill either player here. Ooh, and the back air catching the reverse edge guard. Very nicely played from Failmite and from Lucas Omega. That was a very intense game, both yes. sides.
All right, now we got K Cool versus Failmite. Good luck. Very interesting fighter with the spell gimmick. The one thing it's very hard to get past is some of the spells, especially in quick succession with each other. We win. K Cool loses the first stock. Lightning is terrifying. Grabs. Big thing to watch out for with the grabs. Ooh, and the lightning. Very scary indeed. Ooh, and he hits that. I forgot which one that is. I think that's the next smash. Whoopsie. Yeah, that thunder is very scary. Ooh! And he hits the recovery. All right, we have Ingrid Fanboy versus Failmite.
Definitely gotta play the careful game with this one. Looks like... Ooh! That was a good DI right there. You think Peter Pan? And Failmite Failmite saves him. You don't see that often. Ooh, Angry Fanboy loses the first stock. That midair combo is quite a doozy. Congrats. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. Ooh, the injured fanboy loses another stock. All right, we have Orb of Light versus Failmite. Let's see who hits the Quan. Three, two, one, go! All right, Failmite has to go down to one stock. All right, here we go. Definitely playing a very careful game here. Or getting the first hit in. Ooh, and that side B, it's hard to deal with. That counters. 
scary. Everything's kind of scary to me, though. Like make a tactical retreat. Gotta play the space game right here. Ooh, and very lucky. Or played the scary game right there. Very good play. All right, we're going on PS2. Alright, we got Orb of Light versus Spin Dash 1. Orb of Light getting in his combo first. Ooh. Oh, and he gets the kill right there. Amazing hitting that combo. He hit that on me a few times. Made me a little mad, but hey, it's pretty cool. Mario playing very carefully, tried to keep him off stage. One thing I very much look out for is his forward aerials. Those ones are the scary ones. They can spike you. I don't really like it when I get spiked, you know? Not a big fan. Let's 
Pin Dash just gotta play very carefully here. You know, for the username Spin Dash, I was thinking that they would play Sonic. Ooh, and they lose another stock. Ooh, that was some lag right there. Someone hit the lag switch. I swear we didn't do it. Ooh, and the shield break. Oh, and he... Very intense. Ooh, when Orb loses a stock. Mario is a very scary fighter indeed. It's like, ooh, ooh, that was very close. Orb nearly losing a stock. Back here. Starting to make it back up. Nearly breaking the shield. That one's a scary one. Violet, you gotta be very careful against. Ooh, missed the smash. Spendash trying to play a very careful game here. Oh, nearly. Nearly lose nearly lost the stock there. Whoa, that was very close. He got hit by that smash. Orb would have lost that stock. Ooh. Very close dodges there. Ooh. Very close for both right now. Who could lose the stock next? at very close percentages. This one's scary. Ooh. And Spin Dash lost the stock last. Orb gets to go to the next fight. All right, here we go. Orb of Light versus Azzy Boy. Three, two, one, go! I'm playing Rob this time. Very scary. Ooh, and him the taunt. Can he back it up?
Ooh, and hitting that combo right there. Very nice. Gotta watch out for that projectile that Rob got. He could easily start throwing you into a bunch of different things. It's scary. I'm starting to realize I'm calling everything scary. But you know, that's what it is. Ooh, always hitting them with the down throw and the upbeat. I mean, up smash. As he's really trying to stay safe. Ooh, and Orb snipes him. Just gotta play the careful game here to get through this. But Rob also got the heavy hits. It's hard to watch out for. Ooh, and the lag. That spinning top is not fun to deal with. Ooh, and Orb was patient, waited through the spin. <laughs> now Rob's trying to get him out. Ooh, we jumped on him. here indeed. Ooh, and Orb spikes him. As he says, worth it. And honestly, I agree.